Hey, my name is Rechart and you're watching App Explorers, the show where we look at only the best apps for your smartphone. Throughout each episode, we will look at apps and games and bring you a little how-to tip at the end of each show. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the most important tool that you can use for your Huawei smartphone. And we'll also be looking at one of the world's most played mobile games. Later in the show, you'll also hear from our resident overclocker and techie, Neo. Now, in later episodes, he'll be looking at benchmarking for your smartphone. But we thought of starting things off a little easier with a locally developed app that will give you access to free messaging. You don't want to miss that. And on that note, let's just get into it. Pixel Search is one of the most useful apps on your Huawei phone, and not only does it function like a full-blown search engine, you can also use it to install your favorite applications. Pixel Search is an all-round search application, and it's a great way to find anything on the web. From images to apps to websites and videos, you can search with traditional text, voice, or even snap a picture, and Pixel Search will find more information on it. Pedal Search comes pre-installed with new Huawei phones, but it can also be downloaded via the App Gallery if you do not have it. If you have it pre-installed, you'll likely have the Pedal Search bar on your home screen already. If not, you can open the app for the full search experience. To get that search bar, don't forget to look in your widgets section. The app can be customized to your liking and you can configure which shortcuts you want featured at the top for easy access. The best use of Petal Search by far is its ability to find millions of apps that's not currently available on the app gallery. And some of these are useful tools. And you should always use caution when installing apps this way. As long as you verify the source of the download, you'll be fine. Petal Search also makes it easy to see that you are indeed downloading from the official source. We will be making use of Petal Search a lot on the show, so if you have any questions, please drop it in the comments below. As a long-time PUBG mobile gamer, I'd be the first to admit that Free Fire never really appealed to me. The first few iterations of this game didn't quite reflect the possibility of what mobile gaming has to offer. But let me tell you, things have changed and this game is definitely worth checking out. The game has seen some massive updates in playstyle and graphics, and today it's a very respectable shooter. So much so that the game now enjoys around 50 million daily players around the world, with professional leagues for those who like to play competitively. The game features classic battle royale style gaming with unlockable outfits and skins for weapons. Free Fire is free to play, but if you're all about the visual aspect, you'll want to spend some money to unlock crates and buy outfits and skins. The game is integrated with Huawei in-app purchases, so if you sign up for Free Fire with your Huawei account, you'll be able to easily buy in-app diamonds that you can use in turn to spin for items, unlock crates, or buy items outright. You can also sign up for memberships and earn diamonds daily to spend on in-game items. It's fun to upgrade your character, but always exercise caution when spending money on digital game items. Don't get wrapped up in always owning the latest digital items. Now the game itself is surprisingly easy to play and a lot of fun, and you'll almost be guaranteed of a few kills in your first game. There are a number of game types, including solos, duos, and squad games as you play Battle Royale. There's also time-based games and ranked mode battles to keep you busy as you meet new gamers and have a great time. Each game starts with you or your squad jumping out of a plane over Bermuda, the name of the in-game map. You can land anywhere, but your objective is clear. Be the last man or squad standing. As soon as you hit the ground, you'll need to grab weapons, armor, and other gadgets to help you succeed in surviving. With 50 players per game, there's plenty of action. The gameplay and graphics have improved vastly since the last time I picked it up, and I could not put it down. The game is a way of keeping you engaged with loot drops, awesome vehicles, and roaming zones that are out to kill you. You can also create custom games and invite friends to join, but you'll need to buy a room card for a few rands. As far as action shooters go, Free Fire is fun to play and easy to get into. Get some friends together and start with a squad. It's a great way to spend a few hours with your friends when you can't be with them in person. Call me a convert, this game is a lot of fun and I will even sacrifice some of my PUBG gaming time. So get some practice in, you can download the app using the link in the description below and join me for one of the live streams that we'll be hosting in the coming weeks. All the information will be available on appexplorers.com. 
Mate. The Mate 40 Pro is here, and it is one of the most feature-rich smartphones on the market today. Featuring the impressive Kirin 9000 5 nanometer chipset, this smartphone has all the processing power you need for games and video. The most notable feature about the smartphone is the camera design, called the Space Ring. And this cluster features the Leica 50 megapixel wide angle lens. There's also a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. On the front, there's a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle selfie camera alongside a depth sensor. When it comes to storage space, there's 256 gigabyte with 8 gigabytes of RAM. More than enough to run games and edit video without much effort. The screen is a beautiful curved LCD panel measuring 6.76 inches with a resolution of 1344 by 2772 pixels running at 90 hertz. This means a much smoother app experience and a fantastic 90 frames per second gaming experience in titles that support it. There is no doubt that the hardware spec on the Mate 40 Pro is impressive. It just takes a little knowledge to get the most from the new platform. And this is where app explorers come in. And yes, it's a shameless plug. Check out the Huawei Mate 40 Pro on the Huawei store or speak to your network operator about doing an upgrade. Links in the description below. Did you know that there's a South African app that allows for a whole bunch of data-free services like messaging? This means that you can message your friends without spending a cent on data. That's pretty cool. I've sent the app to Neo to investigate. Let's see what he has to say. Hey Rakhard, thank you for the introduction. Yes, Moya is one of the most useful South African messaging apps I've come across, allowing you to send and receive messages and browse the web when you have no data or airtime. That's right, if you have no data or airtime, this app will allow you to chat and access some web functions completely for free. If you're wondering how all of this is possible, well, the app is going to push some ads to you periodically. This is how all of this is paid for. Not a train smash, but definitely something that you should be aware of. You also can send or receive attachments if you have no data or airtime. However, should you connect to a Wi-Fi network or reload your data bundle, your attachment sending and receiving will resume as normal. Just remember that the messaging services of the Moya app are always available to you, be it you have data or airtime or not. Moya isn't only about messaging though, as there are other services and educational information that can be accessed via the app. One of which is Moya Paid. This allows you to pay and receive payments at zero data cost. Now, this service isn't live at the moment according to the application and goes live in June. However, you are more than welcome to pre-register for it right now. Moya is a simple to use and cost-free method of staying in touch with friends and family when you have no data. Overall, I think Moya is a great app and one you should definitely check out right away. And that's it for this week's episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you have a favorite app gallery app that you'd like to share with us, please do drop it in the comments below. Or you can email show at appexplorers.com. We would love to hear from you. We'll be back with another show in two weeks, so please do keep an eye on appexplorers.com for more information on that, or check out the site for other games and app reviews. Until then, from Rechara Neo, happy apping.